Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for tuning in to my channel. I am Jazz Imani. For today's video, I will be making a short garter. Unlike the other ones that I made before, that uh, the two feet long ones. Okay, this garter is um, it's going to be just a little shorter. I will be using my uh, four and a half inch flower, the which I already secured. If you haven't watched the video on how I secure these flowers, you can go ahead and and, um, and find it on my channel. And also, my uh, ribbon for the back part, I went ahead and cut uh, five pieces of um, two inch wide ribbon. I went ahead and cut them at 12 inches. And then I have all these other ones that I will be adding that are also cut at um, 12 inches. However, these are one and a half and the gray ones are one and five, one and five sixteenths. For my crown, I went ahead and cut my backer at four and a half. I went in two inches and my ribbon for this one, I'm using the gray and the white. I went ahead and cut it at uh, five and a half inches. So it's my crown's already ready. Now I'm just adding my ribbon. Remember to always fan your um, your ribbon so that uh, your mom doesn't droop. And always fix any little gaps that you may see uh, on this skirt. So that this one originally supposed to be with um with just all this ribbon but i don't like how uh the then everything doesn't stay as the person moves so as you can see right here i have these little gaps but these i will be taking care of with this other ribbon so i'm going to go ahead and staple And now I fix this one too. There we go, you see? It's being fanned and I'm covering as much as possible. Now I will be adding this red one. And this red one, I will put it, add it right above where we have that little gap. You see, I'm closing it with this one. And then we just go ahead and staple. If it curls up, don't worry. You can always use um, uh, what is it? A hair straightener. Just carefully. Uh, you're going to have to add some kind of um, thin uh, fabric to put it in between. Or you can always add something heavy. In this case, I will be adding um, these little uh, sparkly thingies. I'm just going to make little rows and my ribbon will curl down. So I come over here to where I have that little gap right there. And I staple. Now, see this little gap right here? Tiny, but it's noticeable. Okay, so that one I'm going to be covering with this one, with the one and a half. This one's one and a half too. Right there. And if it's not even, now is the time to even out. And I don't know why I'm using this, these scissors. That's why my ribbon's not cutting well. Okay, so we already have this part. Now we add this one over here. And 
it's going to start looking like this. The colors for this school are uh, red, gray, and hints of white, which is why I will be using, um, I have my red on the back. And this is so it can add some sparkle. My flower, I chose it to be red and uh, I have the gray and the white up here. Down here, I will be adding the gray and here is where I will be adding the white, uh, the white letters so that it can give those, uh, those touches of white. And um, I will be making this garter simple. So I'm only going to be adding um, the word, um, it's going to be homecoming, hoko, and uh, the initials to the, to the, to the, to the school and the person's name because up here I will be adding the name of the mascot. So I already have my braids for this and I like to add my braids to the ends to give it kind of like a little cooler look. So let's start working on the braids. We already have the ribbons. Now we add the braids. And kind of overlap it on this uh, the end ribbon. I don't like the crease whenever your ribbon has a crease like this what you can do is you can just go ahead and iron it make sure uh, you add some kind of fabric in between your 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 ribbon and your iron whether it is going to be your hair straightener or your home iron make sure you add something right um, in between and um, I've noticed too that the Teflon sheets work. So if you want to go ahead and add the Teflon sheet, it will work wonders. Okay, so. So now that we know that we're going to have them like that, there we go. Now we can go ahead and staple. skirt and once we add up my cutouts to this too are going to have the red the white and the gray and uh, so it can give it a little more color so it's not going to look as plain as it does right now and there we're having it it's already starting to give some Notice how I added that and how I didn't add right here because my crown, I will be adding it right on top. So. And 
and uh, if you wanted, if you would have liked to add volume to this, right now would have been the time. You could have just cut your um, your po noodle and then cover it. Of course, uh, don't don't leave them just like that. Once you covered your po noodle, you can always just go ahead and and uh, first add glue because remember these things. Um, melt pretty fast so add the glue let it cool down for a little bit then add your pool noodle and then you can go ahead and add this one on top and see how it just rises and you know what as a matter of fact let me just go ahead and do it so that you can uh, see so let me get a piece of fabric or something please hold Okay, so I already went ahead and got my little piece that I'm going to use. It's silver on the other side. So I'm going to put the gold in and I just um, get a tiny bit, because remember it melts because the glue's very hot, unless you're using a, a glue gun that isn't as hot. So you just go ahead and wrap your pool noodle. Wrap it to the best of your ability. There we go. So we already have our pool noodle wrapped. Now, what we will do, we will add it up here make sure that uh, you have it right where you want it, which this part, remember, it's not going to be showing, so you will add it right there. So now that you know where you will be adding it, you go ahead and add the glue. Let it sit for a bit and um, Wait for it not to be too hot so that it won't melt your pool noodle. Then you just press on it and wait until um, it completely dries do not let it go unless it completely dries so I'm going to go ahead and wait a bit so let me go ahead and pause this video okay now that we already have our pool noodle on our crown what we will need to do is put it just right above put this right above your pool noodle you you have two choices well actually you have three you can either just staple or you can just go ahead and add lots of glue and then put this on or you can go ahead and do both you can go ahead and add the glue and staple staple whichever one makes you feel better and also if you don't know I, I'm not um I know there's some numbers behind this name but um it's uh, beach bum on tiktok she has another way of uh, adding all these things. Um, her, her way of doing it is uh, she adds Elmer's glue, guys. Elmer's glue. Like what? I've never heard of that before. And uh, I've been making mums for quite a while. But, you know, uh, have you guys ever left a mum in the heat or in your, like, well, in your car or maybe your attic your storage and it's so hot and then the things start falling off well it, it, ha it has happened to me and i know that it's happened to a lot of other people but um 
when you add Elmer's glue, things that doesn't happen. You don't have to worry about that. So go check out her channel or her TikTok and check out how she does that. I think that's pretty amazing. I mean, to know that uh, you don't have to worry because I know us as parents, sometimes we forget our 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 things in the in the car. So hey, or maybe if it's a surprise for your for your kid that you want to give them and you want to leave the mom garter in your car you don't have to worry about it falling apart because it's gonna stay strong so look for her beach bum beach bum on uh tiktok okay there we go and you see how it's uh like you see it like it's pregnant or something <laughs> but okay so now what we're going to do, since we're going to be, have to be pressing a lot, we're going to have to be putting a lot of pressure and we don't want to get on the flower. We're going to go ahead and add our backer to cover, to cover all those um, ugly um, staples. My goodness, please hold. Okay, well, the reason I went on hold is because my, my glue gun, my big glue gun is not... Um, wasn't connected i had just noticed anyway so um while we wait for the glue gun to um what is it called to to warm up get hot whatever uh you see this see right here where you can see uh that there's something there like uh, okay so for that all you're going to need to do is get some of these and just stick them there and uh, how do I get these little things? All I do is just um, roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it. And then just press on the sides. See? That's it. You just roll it and press. And you get these little things. So let's go ahead and add them. Um, Add these so we can cover those and meanwhile go ahead and put it there and see now you'll just see something sparkly but you won't see that it's something other than sparkle then you do the same for the for the other side going to go ahead and change the color of the flowers I just uh, I thought I had made uh, white and red the cutouts and the cutouts are gray and red I um, I don't know if you guys have been having trouble with Cricut but um, it's, anyway so there we go we already took care of this And now we add a whole bunch of glue right here. And this thing is still not hot. <laughs> Try to stay away from the edges as much as possible because um, when you when you pre after, when you press on it, the glue will come out and it'll burn. You, so make sure you do get a lot of glue on it too, so that it doesn't fall apart. Okay, 
So now that we have all that glue, we go ahead and add our backer to cover all them ugly staples and press and press and press and press so that um, to make sure that it does glue down well. And I'm going to uh, pause this video because it does take a while to, to, um, to dry. I don't wanna have you waiting. Okay, it has already dried and I changed my mind. Now I remember why I'm using the red flower because the colors for the, the colors for the school are red, gray, and hints of white. If I add the white flower, then it'll be uh, red, gray, and white. And it's not going to be hints, it'll be white, just white. So uh, my letters for right here are going to be white already. So those are my hints. And see, just a little bit of white here, so that's a hint. That's what's hints of is there we go so see now this right here is what I always use to um, connect my uh, garters it doesn't matter if this is a six uh, seven eight inch um, backer I use this this is 3.5 it's cut at 3.5 all I do is um, I cut my garter See where the seam is right there? I just make a little cut right on the side, not right on it. I do it right on the side. And then I add glue. Press and hold. And do the same for the other side. telling me it's uh, the battery slow. Oh, I hope I finish making this video. Okay, so now that you have it like that, what you're going to do is you're going to add tons of glue back here. Or you can add it here. I mean, you know how I like to give you little options. So you have two options. You add it over there, you add it over here but just add tons of glue. And I'm already nervous because I don't want the foam to die before I finish making this video. See, I already put a lot of glue. So now you just kind of eye it to where it's in the middle and it's, um, You don't want it sideways, you want it right on the middle. And then you just press and press until it dries. Now that it's ready, see, our garter is ready. This is ready. Now we can go ahead and add tons of glue to add the flower. I will not finish decorating this garter because of my battery. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to cut this video short. My editing um, app has been giving me some trouble too. So either I finish decorating it, I try to finish decorated, decorating it and um, I lose this whole video or I just post this that I've made so far. So, I already added a whole bunch of glue right there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my already secured flower and then I just add the whole palm of my hand. I have enormous hands, so I don't know about you guys, but still, press on it and press on it until it's um, dry. Let me go ahead and pause. All right, so it's already dry and look at my garter. See that little Hire this, maybe you can see better once once the garter is up. And see how it's, uh, I cut it like 12 inches and still like, um, they're kind of long. And um, the total, the overall length of this garter will be um, 
Just about 15 inches. All right. Well, I hope you guys like this video. And um, if you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And if you're not yet my subscriber, you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. I post uh, videos weekly. And um, if you have any questions about any of mom's garters lace or any of the other crafts that um, just go ahead and feel free to ask. I'm always here to answer your questions as soon as possible. So thank you very much. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.